If a picture is worth a thousand words, the entire basement is flooded. This video says it all. Hundreds of Scarborough residents are tearing out their basements after Sunday's thunderstorms caused sewers to back up and flood their homes. There was a, a guest room and then we have another guest room over there. Bedrooms, offices, family rooms, all had to be gutted out. It's, it's hard to look at, you know, it's kind of hard to look at. I don't need a bureaucracy program. Mayor Ford was given an earful when he came to do a walkthrough of the neighborhood. $2,000 deductible. I know. We paid 11 months ago. Right. Uh, now we have to pay again. Cover one hole and another hole pops up. It's, it's, it is frustrating. Councillor Michelle Berardinetti is feeling it too. She lives in Ward 35. I've been hit six times in nine years. They say one flood is an act of God, but four, five, six times in the same place, clearly they're pointing fingers. And insurance companies aren't making it easier, threatening to dramatically increase premiums. These residents say they just have nowhere to turn to anymore. And then we had to pay like, you know, we were blacklisted after that. So we had to pay like three times the insurance premium for about four years. Cleanup crews estimate damage at $30,000 per home. We're talking sewer water here, and there's more than E. coli to worry about. You have a lot of infections. Hepatitis C, hepatitis B is a bloodborne virus. It's in all the contaminants that are ejected from the toilet and the sewer pipes. There is a pipe in the works for this particular road, which is Pharmacy Avenue. Uh, it is scheduled for 2014, but we're hoping we can maybe bump that up a year even. Cold comfort for those who brace themselves every time it rains. Whenever we see a cloud, we're going to be worried. We're, we're worried because if the water comes back in. Now, the city offers subsidies of up to $3,200 to put towards flood prevention measures. But after forking out tens of thousands of dollars every year, they want the city to step up to pay their deductibles, but also to help them fight these insurance companies. And they're banding together. They're rallying this weekend on Sunday at 6 p.m. at 1 McCown Road. That's near Kingston. There's a church there. Mm -hmm. And they're hoping the mayor comes out and helps them because they say they just can't afford to wait for these um, larger storm water drains to come in in 2014. Yeah. I mean, they brace themselves every single time it rains. Caught in the middle. Mm -hmm. Lots of red tape. All right. Thanks, Mina. You're welcome.